go ahead and show you what this is going to be all about. So I got my d input selector and both of them are on. I have my d amp selector so we'll be able to quickly switch between the amps through the same cab and from there it's going into this attenuator so we're going to be pushing the amps as hard as we can. I'm going to go ahead and do use this Limalia Explorer. It's a sick guitar. Love it. And we're also going to use a Gibson Les Paul Studio. And we're micing up this Mesa cab, the V30s, a small condenser mic and a SM57. Let's do this. Here we go. All right, guys, if you like that song at the very beginning, that's actually my band, Icons of Sin. And um, I'm sure I'll have some links down below. Check them out. If you like it, cool. Um, I did use the JVM 205H and the 410H in the mix of that. So hope you like it. Cool. Now, let's get on to what we're here for. I've been wanting to do this for a while. We got the 205H up here. We got the 410H down here. I'm just gonna go through each of these channels and see if there is a likeness between them. I've heard that the, uh, the OD channel on the 205H is a lot like the OD channel two on the 410H. So we're gonna go through and figure that out. But we're gonna start with the clean channel, which is a clean slash crunch. And I think they separated it out on the 410H, so the clean's up here, and then the crunch is down here. But we're gonna go through all of it, okay? All right, let's go ahead and do this. So first, we're gonna start with the 205H. So you guys know 205 is on number two here. So if you see this up, then it's the 205. If you see it over here, then it's gonna be the 410H. All right, so right now we're doing the 205. Let's go ahead and go over to the 410H. Alright, that sounds good. Uh, both of them sound pretty much the same. So let's go to the orange channel. All right, we're gonna go back to 205. And we're gonna to go to 410H. So there's a difference there. The 410H sounds louder and not as much gain. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to the red channels. 205H. Has more of an ACDC feel to it. 410H. Alright, so now the 410H has more gain than the 205A. So now we're going to compare the, uh, the clean slash crunch to the crunch channel on the 410H. All right, let's go to the green. All right, and let's 
let's go to the 205. Okay, so that has that clean tone to it. All right, we're gonna stick to the same uh, path here. So let's go to the orange. We're gonna stay on the 205H. All right, let's go to the 410 on the orange channel. That sounds a little closer to the orange channel on the 205H. Let's do the red. 205. All right, as we know, that has a little more crunch to it. So now the 410H. That's louder for sure. All right, so that has more of the ACDC feel to it. Let's go ahead and shoot over back to the uh, 205H and see if that still has that ACDC feel too. It does, uh, but there's not as much gain as in the crunch, which that makes sense. So I would bet that this is a midway between these two channels here on the 410H. I'm pretty convinced that that's what that is. All right, uh, what we've been waiting for, let's go ahead and do the overdrive channels. All right, so let's go 205. Let's go to the green channel and let's do the OD1 uh, compared to the overdrive on the 205H. So right now we're on the 205. All right, let's go ahead and go over to 410H, green channel, overdrive one. Okay, that sounds close. Those are pretty close to each other. Uh, I would say that the 205H sounds like the red channel on the crunch channel of the 410H. Let's move on. So we're gonna do the orange channel, which is one of my favorites on the, uh, the 205. This, this is probably the channel for me. Uh, <laughs> Let's go ahead and actually turn up the volume on this one a little bit. Sounds like this one is lacking a little bit, which makes sense. All right. That sounds pretty good. I love that channel on this one. And I could stay there and just do everything on that. <laughs> 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 
All right, so let's go over to the 410. Oh. That one just has more chunk to it. And still, this one is not as loud. Let's bring that up a little bit more. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, OD1 sounds like it has just a lot more chunk to it. I love that. That sounds great. And I think that's the one that everyone loves on the 410H as well. So, uh, let's go back to the 205. And that sounds great too. Uh, that's an awesome tone. Got plenty of gain. Uh, everything's at noon, so it's, you know we could definitely add more if we wanted to. Well, let's go ahead and go to the red channel. 205H. Go to 410. Oh man, that just sounds brutal. I uh, I love that. I mean that that's straight up. I could use that for death metal and stuff like that. So. I love these amps. I, have I told you that already? I, I absolutely love these things. All right, so let's go over to OD2 on the 410H and let's compare those guys. Back on the green channel. All right, 205. All right. So there's that one. We're gonna go over to the 410H. Hold on. I think we found a winner, just like everybody has said. OD2 on the 410H sounds just like the overdrive channel, at least for the green so far on the 205H. So let's uh, let's go over to the orange channel. All right, 205. 14H. Yeah, that's it. That's the channel that is on the 205H. All right, let's go ahead and go over to the red channel. All right, so we're on 205. <laughs>
that is it. The 410H OD2 is the 205H OD channel. It's spitting image. You know, because this is also a, a higher wattage uh, amplifier here, and this one being the 50 watt, I think this was 100. You definitely have to pump this up a little bit more. What am I at? Uh, I'm at like 10.30, something like that on the 410H. On here, I'm at 11 o'clock on the 205H. And let's see. That sounds like a comparable level. So let's compare the two overdrives actually. I'm gonna go over to the green channel here. Let's see, actually the red. And let's see what they sound like. Oh man, if you want more chunk to your JVM, you have to get the 14H. Either that or go ahead and put an EQ behind it and you probably could pull it out. But I like to keep it, you know, least amount of pedals as possible. Uh, I just like the amp to kind of push through the stuff. I'm not afraid of it. I just uh, would prefer the amp to do all the work for it. So. Oh, that's just so chunky. So now let's actually go ahead and put an overdrive to the stuff. I'm going to go back to the orange channel on this one. And let's do an overdrive on the 205. Oh, that is, that is great. I love that. All right, let's do the 410. And there you have it. It's finally been answered, or it has been answered. Just, I don't think anybody's done a video on this, but uh, I'm glad to be the first, I think, to show you guys the actual difference between these two going through a Mesa to have an amp selector to be able to quickly and easily select through and you guys listen to it on your end. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time. Oh, man, that was great. Oh. What'd y'all guys think? You know, um, so I just kind of want to show the things that I was kind of using within in this video. Things to help me kind of do this was that d uh line selector. This thing's pretty cool. Uh, I actually just have them always on. So whenever I switch between the amps, it's got a, you know, an input going into it. Um, but I can't switch between them if I wanted to. Um, for this video, I don't have much of a use for that. Uh, also have the MXR Badass Modified Overdrive. And let's see. This thing is awesome. Uh, definitely, I think, would need a uh, noise gate in front of this guy. Or really behind it. Um it is pretty noisy, but man, it is, it, it can, you know, chunk a lot. And it's got this little bump button. I think that helps out with the mids. Uh, this this um, 100 hertz knob here, of course, is the bass side. So you can, 
you know, cut or actually add as much as you want to it. Um, and then you have your output and your gain and your tone. So also, I have this. This has been a great tool to just compare stuff. And uh, I wouldn't be able to easily do these videos without this thing. And there's going to be a lot more to come. As you can see, we have a bunch of amps back here. And I'll be going through and doing a bunch more videos. And I really appreciate all you guys coming in here and checking out my video. Uh, I'm not even going to do the like and subscribe. I might come up with something funny about doing that stuff. Um, but I'll just say it once. Why don't you go ahead and like and subscribe. Peace. That's right. Sailor Moon up in this biatch. Sailor Moon! <laughs>